Welcome to Changes. My name is Rosalind Feli and we make your day a great one. Today, we are celebrating a man who is putting smiles on the faces of people. A man who is advising the economy. A man who is changing the narrative. On Changes is all about changes. He does love the choir. And today, we have brought to you the choir all the way from Tema. And they are a queer Chere Memorial Kwa. Do take us away. from a Kriya Chere Memorial Choir. We will take a quick break, but don't forget that we'll be enjoying more of these tunes right here on Changes. Do stay with us. Changes. Welcome back. This is Changes. My name is Rosalind Feli, and today my guest is Nana Dr. Apia J. Dankawoso, the first yes, sub-chief of Ujwabe in traditional area. Fantastic. Nana, welcome. Thank you, dear. So, Nana, this is it. And the reason why you are here is because you're putting smiles on the faces of people. Yes. What got you there? How did it all start for you? And why did you decide to do this? Thank you, my dear. Um, first of all, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity, and especially this melodious song that uh, the choir sang for me. Mm. In fact, um, you have aroused, you know, my my interest this this afternoon. If I like music. I like uh, uh, choral music and mm -hmm. hymns. Mm -hmm. I've been a chorister when I was uh, uh, twelve years. Oh, nice! Uh, I was adjudged the best uh, auto singer, uh, you know, and became a choir master. I was able to raise a few uh, choirs. Uh huh. Uh, especially when I go to Techima to do my national service. So those in Techima, if, if, you well. if you are watching me, this is PJ. <laughs> <laughs> Nana, but before you go, you definitely have to sing for us because if you've told us that you won an award for best uh, uh, auto, singer. auto singer, you can't leave here. That was twelve singing. years, and now I'm fifty-five. So. Oh, Nana, we'll, try, we'll give it a try. <laughs> so we'll trust the auto, you. you know, if you know uh, voices well. Mm -hmm. There's no way at this age I can sing good alto. Okay, but you can sing alto. No, I can sing all parts. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try a part. No problem. All of them. You want to try it now? Anytime. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. No, no. Try a B. Try a <laughs> room. A method is in book. Five, seven, eight. Okay. Five, seven, eight. Uh, so, Nana, Yanko. That is a charge to keep I have. A God to glorify. A charge to keep I have A God to glorify And never die So to save and fit it for the sky Beautiful, Nana. Beautiful. I will see a question in competition, Nana. Well, we, are, we won. We'll, we uh, will win again. We won, we, we won a lot, and uh, now um, it's for sake of time. Mm. Other than that, um, um, I'll raise another choir. 
but I'm an executive director of uh, Buka Essence, okay. which is uh, at Dao Suman. Uh, it's also a choral, uh, you know, uh, music choir. Mm. So um, I'm so happy this afternoon. I must thank Sarah and her team for, you know, uh, this nice songs this, this afternoon. Seriously. Sarah is the best producer. I know. Yes. That's why, you know, <laughs> no challenger. So Sarah won. <laughs> so <I want>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let's talk about your philanthropic works. Yeah. The smile you put on the faces of people. Yeah, it started from somewhere. You know, I was born in Drabin, in the Ashanti region, um, 24th September 1966, to uh, the late mother, uh, Julia Watima is my mother, and the late father, um, but you, Asante, PJ Asante, mm -hmm. and a lot of them call him Mr. Asante or Henry Cratch. And I started school from there, you know, and I, because they were Methodists, um, I was born into the Methodist church and through the um, Sunday school, we were sharing, you know, mm -hmm. so you bring and share. So that thing, uh, was embedded in me and um, over a period and fast forward, you know, Methodist middle school, primary middle school. So at class six, for example, um, we're having a children's harvest. Every year we used to have a children's harvest. And uh, when we were in class six, I was selected to preach on that day. And uh, people got to know that there was something good in me, especially. In actual fact, my father taught me how to do that preaching and how to speak in public at the time. So from class six to middle school and to secondary school, all along I was with the SU. So we realized that I also come from a very um, humble home. There was no money nothing. After Form 5, if, you know, around Form 2, secondary school Form 2, there about, I used to uh, go for by day. You know mm. by day? Which one is by, by day? By day. Uh, by day. How much were you, you go for by day? You and weed, just around, uh, when, especially when we had a uh, uh, long vac. Mm -hmm. That's from July to September, September first mm -hmm. week or second week of September. We used to go to um, weed in the cocoa farms and all that. Mm -hmm. And they paid us and all. So through this, especially after four, five, four, after my exams, I became a driver's mate for three months. Nanawo. Yes. So uh, it was very interesting. And the most interesting part was that, was that I was not sitting in the car. I was sitting on the carrier because you sell your your seat and uh, i'm to tell you that uh how to put this uh the scarf eh? mm -hmm. on the head if i have to teach Keshire. you now it's not keshri per se but that is uh the duster okay you put it you know so that dust uh, will not uh, fall uh, on your like a drag sort of something like that no, but now was it by choice when you decided to do that um, you see, there was no money, even though I was on scholarship. But because my father was taking care of about 12 people, that is his own children, and that of others, their fews and nieces, for him to also buy you nice things for yourself, uh, it's once a year, you know. So you try to also uh, use that as a means of getting another source of income for yourself to buy fuel things to support it was a nice time nice time. and you made some good money nana oh not really but it was just supporting your uncle okay and then secondly that was um anytime you are able to support anything like you know um that would generate income was good right why do you stay in the in mm -hmm. the in the house for nothing you are waiting to go to school. And when you are going, you want other people to support you. So that was another 
for me, good thing. Better well, than the bad day. Right. <laughs> so, Nana, how long have you been doing philanthropic work? Oh, I think about 14 years now. Actually, I started with six people at uh, uh, Tabora. Mm. That was where um, I was worshipping with the Methodist Church there. That is the uh, Prince of Peace Methodist. It was a small church. And the Spirit of God told me one day, like a vision, that uh, I should do for the orphanage, for the widows, and for the prisoners. And uh, that was uh, f the message was uh, orphanage and children, mm -hmm. widows, and prisoners. And I didn't have the money to do it. So I started on a small note. So I picked, I realized that um, through a guy in our church called Alex, he helped me to identify about mm. six of them. Mm. Now, now, was it this a dream or it was a vision or it was so a voice you had? It was a, you know, it was, I was in the, in the office and that, it was like um, dozing, you know, something like that, around 5 So it was like a trance. Something, something like okay. that, a small, you know, short time. It happened. So after, after a month, it came again, you know, somewhere else. And then I went to my hometown. Mm -hmm. And then it came again. So I said, that, no, this thing, I have to do it. Okay. So that's how I started. So with six people, they didn't know, know me. So every month I was putting some money in the envelope and then uh, gave it to the guy to be shared to the, uh, to the widows. They were sex as I already in the, church. Yeah, in the church. So from there, I moved from uh, Tabora to Dansoman. When I got there, I also joined the uh, Mount Olivet Methodist Church, and there uh, we had the afternoon class. And with the, among the afternoon class, we, we could have about uh, 30 to 40 of them. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do something. And that too, we, com we, 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 we continued. So at, at one time, I decided to you know, extend it to the whole church. Mm. And that's where we got about 100 plus widows. And we were able to do it, you know, in this time, nice, a big one for parties, you know, end of year party. They buy them a piece of cloth and then other things, you buy them food from time to time. And then we also, I also, earlier on, I identified um, um, Bob Jassy Countryside Orphanage. Okay. A friend was going there and he invited me to go with him, with her, sorry. Uh, because he was going with a lot of items and mm -hmm. her car was a smaller one, so asked me to use my bigger car. So when I got there, I was touched, actually. And that was a year before I became a chief. Okay. Yeah, so that one, I continued like that, you know. But when we got there, I did not buy anything. So when we got there, I saw the children, I was touched. So I excused them. Went to town, that's the body as town, and bought a few toffees, you know, for the children. Then I made up my mind that I should help these children. And that that vision or that dream that I had has now passed to, you know, be realized. Mm. So we, we, we that's how we, we started for body as of the job. So this time around, you go there twice or more. Anytime they don't have food, they mm -hmm. call me. So like a foster parent, yeah. you know. So, you are, so you that are place adopted. is not for me per se, mm. but I support them anytime they are in need. And I go there twice or more every birthday. That's where I celebrate my birthday. I celebrate. It's only this year that I haven't gone there. Okay. But this year, just uh, 24th of September, I was at uh, um, Kumasi Central Prisons. And that was where I celebrated my my, you know, give them some items that they needed for a living. And now with the prisons, do you go to every prison or you've identified a particular prison that you support? Well, um, I started with uh, Kumasi Central Prisons and that of Nsawam. So those places I go there at least once or, you know, most of the time once a year. But at a, on every 26th of December, we do, uh, we we, 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 we do a party, we throw a party for, for them, for all the prisons in this country. But that one doesn't come for me alone. Lots of people contribute. Okay. And then we do truly a uh, prisons ministry 
we do that thing for them. So I contribute a lot so far. Okay. Now, talking about your widows and the orphanage and the prisons that you take care of, do you do it out of your own pocket or you have funding and support from other people? No, it's all from my own. It's all from my own. The others that come from um, um, external, that is other people who want to support, that maybe we are going mm -hmm. and you have something, I ask you to just add it to what we have and then we go together. For example, last uh, September, um, last month, my mm -hmm. birthday, mm -hmm. um, we, in fact, I spoke with them and they told me the items that they need. So they said they needed canopies. Okay. So about three of them. That cost us about, uh, the total cost was about 20000 We bought, uh, they said they needed carbolic soap. And we bought about 100 boxes. And then uh, plastic um, um, buckets and that of uh, toiletries. So that has been for that one. When you are going to, for example, uh, Bodhi, I say, mm -hmm. all the time I speak with them, mm -hmm. and then they tell you what and what they need, and you buy them. We don't normally send money. We buy them, the item maybe rice, sugar, gary, beans tomato, you know, uh, thin tomatoes and those kind of things. And sometimes also we buy um, clothing, you know, and add it. And that of piece of cloth, okay. pieces of cloth, mm -hmm. you know, for the um, the mothers who take care of, of them. Was it last year or two, uh, KTA Mobile brought about 20 pieces of mobile phones and I added it to it and then we sent it. The other time, um, Kena Pharma mm -hmm. also brought, brought some items. That is uh, um, medicine for their first aid. And when he accompanied me there, he also promised them to pay for their national health insurance. For the, for the past three years, that friend has been paying uh, their um, national health insurance for them. Mm -hmm. There are other few friends who come with... Uh, so there is this woman from a brick. She's a queen mother. Okay. She's a friend. So she brought, uh, you know, she sells uh, flour. So she had bread, you know, almost a full of a vehicle. So they, she also brought it and we added. So at the time we are going, like, I tell friends who have anyone who has anything to, to share or to, you know, um, to be given to them. They bring it there, and, and that then is you how. Share yeah, it to them. I think last year a friend of mine who is a, a professor in South Africa also brought some few uh, clothing, and we added all those things. So mm. that's how. But on the whole, or the majority, I is on my, all my my own. So I've created fund for it from my own funds, uh, and you know that's what I've been using for that. As we speak now. I have a business line that takes care of mm. uh, the widows. Okay. Because now the widows number has increased. Uh, as we speak, the data we have is about 350 from Accra, Kumasi, my you hometown. Take a, you take care of 350 yeah. widows. Nana, what do you get out of putting smiles on the faces of people? It's all about satisfaction. You know, I have a policy in life that you take care of others and God takes care of you. Look, look at the way I am. It's just by the grace of mercy. Fresh. You know, very fresh. Uh -huh. <laughs> just nothing, mm. but just the grace. Mm. Ever young, eh? Ever, ever young. I didn't cry, Newton. I didn't cry, Newton. But God has blessed no. you. Mm. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's, a, it's an interest. It's about satisfaction, you know. And if you look at where I'm coming from mm. and where the Lord has, you know, uh, blessed me and where I am now. It takes only the grace and mercies, mm -hmm. you know. And so how do you put smiles in the faces of others? Just to see how you can put some few resources together and support them. Mm. 
Mm. Nana, we are happy with you. We want the choir to give you another song. Thank you. And uh, we know how much you love hymns. And so we also want to put smiles on your face. <laughs> want you to keep smiling the whole day. So we invite the Equiature Memorial Choir to give us a tune. And also a big thank you to Labadi Beach Hotel for giving us this beautiful place. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have an event, don't look anywhere else, but look at Labadi Beach Hotel. They have the best ambience for you. If you come here, you will not regret it. Trust me, you won't regret it. Have you tasted their food? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Please come. Come and taste your food. Let's take it away with the Equiature Memorial Choir. to do it for you. you you've been my dear sarah thank you once again <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. i told you sarah is the best producer yes that's one and no, i can no, see you're no. a bit emotional right now uh, a bit what uh, does this song mean to you nana you know the the lyrics the yes. lyrics mm. what does it mean to you oh nana? for a thousand tongues to sing my great redeemer's praise the glories of my god and king the triumph of his praise. Especially the last stanza. See all your sins. On Jesus laid. And somebody was killed. The Lamb of God was slain and his soul was once an offering made for every soul of man so you see that he's uh, Jesus Christ is an atonement of sin then I can offer you a tissue thank you Jesus Christ is an atonement of sin for all of us. Before Jesus Christ, people got sin and sheep and other animals were slaughtered. 
to pacify their sins. But Jesus came, and all these things are no more. And if you read John 3.16, the only son, the only begotten son, was given to us. And so at any point in time, when I sing this song, I become a bit emotional. That somebody was killed to pacify our sins. So, um, and I thank the, the writer of this song, Charles Wesley. He was a brother of uh, John Wesley, who brought Methodism. So I think I'm okay now. You're okay you. now. You can take a sip of your drink. <laughs> I'm okay. You're okay. Now that you are also putting smiles on the faces of people, hearing that this is your favorite hymn because somebody was slain so that you can have eternal life. Because of you, others are also smiling. And then for this, we celebrate you on Changes. Thank you. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk more to Nana Dr. Apieji Dankawosu, the first. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tanko. something we call nose trimmer. You have the hair that coming into the nose and the person wants to trim it. So this is nose trimmer. to clean it.
this aftershave as well. Then we apply it to avoid the skin rashes. After then you comb it very nicely. Now we are done with our beard shave. Anytime you visit a shop, make sure they use the correct product. The clean machine, use the clipper side to spray the clipper before applying it on you. Anytime you need an eye cut, come to X-Men. Right opposite purpose with the East Lebanon. My name is Tanku. Bye bye. Welcome back for the gentlemen out there. I hope you have learned something with regards to men's grooming. I'm here with Nana Dr. APJ Danka also the first and he is making a lot of changes today we celebrate him because he has put smiles on the faces of the less privileged. Nana, yes, dear. we are still celebrating you. Thank but you. Nana, you do so much and currently you are the uh, President General of WANF, that is West African Nobles Forum. Tell yes. us a bit about it. Yeah, West African Nobles Forum is about uh, 16 countries in West Africa with its um, people who have identified their talents and groomed them and changing the, you know, the economies of various countries. So we have people who have gone through the mill, especially on education side, others also have the business and acumen imbued in them, you know, nurtured them, you know, and have come out with businesses. And a lot of people are working in their various uh, uh, companies. Mm. So how come that um, we have uh, more people not working, especially the teaming youth of our country, especially Ghana, and we, don't, we are not able to take care of them. Mm -hmm. We're only relying on various governments, or especially Ghana government, to provide um, uh, employment for them. But Ghana here, with the statistics uh, from uh, Isa Legon, show that uh, the, um, the workforce, mm -hmm. government employs only 6%, and the private sector employs about uh, 94%. It tells you that the chunk of the people are employed um, um, at the private se sector. Mm -hmm. And for that, who are uh, those under the private sector? It is people who have identified their talents, have decided that they will uh, come up with uh, businesses and employ more of these uh, young people. And for that matter, how uh, how do we bring them together mm -hmm. to put our ideas together to support various governments? Mm. So maybe Nigeria, um, La Côte d'Ivoire, Togo, Ghana, and what have you. And so, you have over 3,000 members. Yes, we have more than 3,000 members. Then how do you manage it? Um, you have three companies you are running. <laughs> okay, we have a secretariat. Yes. So I'm executive director, executive uh, president general. Yes. You know, so I have uh, various, I uh, have about seven vice presidents. And they are, you know, supporting the, the work. As the secretariat is doing well. And the various, um, um, uh, what do you call my lieutenants, that is the executive. Mm -hmm. In terms of the vice presidents, I'll have their own uh, small executives around them and they are all doing their best. So ser seriously, we look at what is happening in the economy what is happening in the country that we need to advise the government on. And then we, we do issue communique and what have you. Mm. So that's um, my predecessor, Dr. Uh, Finn, uh, who is the chancellor of the Wisconsin University, did his, a good job. So I salute you, uh, Prof. You have done a good job and 
The baton has been given to me now, and I promise that I will not let you down. And you are not letting him down, of course. Uh, you know, talking to us earlier about the widows, you did mention that you have 350 widows that you are taking care of. Even more. Even more. Those that we have, uh, their data, mm. they, they are the 350. Right. And you know what I want to do for you today? Okay. I want to surprise you with some of the widows that you are taking care of. Nana, surprise! <laughs> so we have Auntie Esther here with us and Auntie Regina. So Auntie Esther and Auntie Regina are two of the widows that you do take care of. And uh, Auntie Regina has something small to say to you, Nana. Nana, we thank God this day. All that we have to say is that the media, the multimedia, Joy Prime, the widows, the orphanage, the prisoners, and everyone that you have been helping, we say thank you. We are presenting this thing to you. We thank you very much. We are very grateful for all that you are doing for us. We appreciate it all. May the Almighty God bless you. Continue to do your good with your whole hearted. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nana. We present it to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, please permit me to also, uh, ingratitude is simple. There's a book that I'm writing with that uh, title. Mm. When Jesus healed the lepers, one returned to say thank you, Jesus, and he asked uh, of the other nine. In fact, I'm, I'm seriously uh, overwhelmed. I know them. <laughs> <laughs> They are, they are always being appreciative of what I do for them. But the issue is that it's not me. The widows have their husband. And he's sitting somewhere in spirit. And he has asked me to join those he has selected to help those widows. And so I'm only representing uh, as an agent to help them uh, without expecting anything in return. So, what they have done today, um, I am most, most grateful. Uh, as somebody put it, it's a widow's might, but I really appreciate the uh, heart, the kind of heart they have for the, the, uh, the prayer they say for me every day is more than enough for me. And uh, this afternoon, uh, you've really surprised me. In fact, uh, it's a long time that I saw them. All the things that I I sent to them it was through, you know, my coordinators and uh, uh, the other family members. And some of them I don't even know them, mm. but I worship with them all the time, so they are more closer. And uh, how did you get to know them? <laughs> Nana, that's why you're on changes. <laughs> So, uh, Madam, I, I really appreciate your, your gesture. Thank you so much. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> On that note, we'll take a hymn from the IKEA Achere Memorial Choir. <laughs>
on that note, we want to take a quick break. And when we come back, we have more for you. Do stay with us. Welcome back and this is Changes. My name is Rosalind Feli. This lovely place is Labadi Beach Hotel. If you're looking for the right place to have your event, if you're looking for a place to even eat, I say eat, they have the best food and they have the right ambience for you for any occasion. Also, the television station that is changing the, the whole scene of television, Joy Prime, of course, the ultimate experience is the channel you need to watch every single day. It's now time for us to take Pocket Lawyer today. Our question is How does the law favor a widow? The law doesn't protect widows at all in this country because it's not, it's not easy. My mom, I'll use my mom for, for a, a example. She didn't got it. Uh, she didn't got it easy at all. The Lord didn't protect her at all. Uh, when 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 uh, when the husband died, one of uh, uh, the family member came to, and they were like, they want to. Um, they almost by some What I say? Me name the me name me name the uh, your friend is government say oh more yeah my me name the more yeah because my men are funny to move for able to have fun is one more power no almost a bear money be be a oh my defeat oh my genie to imagine it be be a and to me name the uh 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 See, see, I mean, no more. Cause me, my, me, I did not find it. Tim, it was your funny. Say, oh, more, jump up, I'm on the fifth floor. The day, the day, the day. Eh? I was saying, I was not there. I was not there. Now, friends, so many are doing it. I was afraid of, but I don't know. I know my pamu. Oh, could I find him? Well, I know if you fear her, now I wish you for a bed. I just had to do it. Now, only Obano won for the most of times, you know. Sir Berman, no property, family, no plema, Obano enjoy any new quarter, no money or more three months. But some ran a bed, you know, sir, who can know property, and say property no belongs to your children and yourself. Because one in a bray, so one in a bray, but Minta says, mostly, no. Property do or her never see a nice original. So, one Sam Quadana or Mobile Kun or Ban, no more for property, and say, or Mutia. That's fine. The name say, Who we are, Nanka, a bepam, a fruit kun fee, as when I'm running in Wasa. So, who I bepam with fruit kun fee. Intimidate him, Sam Ran, a bomb and mobile. Sam Ramwa, Mepe lawyer, be our associate, the Aqua, my minimum man, Sana Mills and Ran Bet. That's very interesting understanding as to how the law protects widows in Ghana. Indeed, what they are saying is that the law doesn't protect widows at all. In fact, the first lady said the, the father died and the mother was dragged out of the house. It has even affected uh, her mind and is, uh, is now mad or something like that. And the second person says that the law doesn't protect them at all, and they, they, as soon as she lost the, the husband, the family came to drag them out of the house. I think only the last lady who said that she he, she knows the law, and that uh, if the the husband died, we're not going to allow anyone to come and drag her out of the property. And indeed, that is the case. The law indeed protects widows in Ghana. The PND one 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 provide that if a, a person died without a will. That is, the person died intestate. You are living with your husband and he died intestate. He died without a will. The PND one provide a way by which the properties will be shared. And about 75% of the properties that the, the man acquired during the marriage goes to the widow and the children. And that is the PND 111. So if your husband died without a will and the family comes to the house and drag you out of the house, that is against the law. That is against the PND 111. And you have to immediately go to the nearest police station or go to the nearest district court and report this matter. The 
the district court will help you as to how to go about it. They will first help you to apply for LA, and then the property will be shared on the PND so 111. The law provides those who are entitled to apply for the letters of administration in regard of the properties that your husband acquired before he died. So if you are a widow and you are listening to me, remember that there's a law that protects you even if your husband died without a will. I hope you have learned something from this very short episode. My name is Richard Kuju Abba. Welcome back. And that is what we have for you with regards to what the law has for widows, how it favors widows. Thank you to our lawyer who is always available to give us the right information. I'm still here with Nana, Dr. Apie J. Dan Kawuso, the first, and Nana has changed the faces of a lot they were crying but because of nana they are smiling today nana yes, my dear. but before i want i talk to you yeah the the, the qua tell us a little bit about how you feel about the qua um you know i joined the choir when i was only 12 years and um it really helped me and i was always first in my class and um, the, the, the music inspired me all the time and to get closer to God. And in most cases, when I was, I was singing, some of the issues or topics that will come in exams are revealed to me. So any time I see anybody from singing from his heart, my prayer within me is that, oh my God, help this person. Mm. Let him understand why he's singing and your soul, your body, and the whole being, you know, let, let's also understand the words that we, the lyrics, you know, if you understand the word, um, it, it, it brings you closer to God, and it changes you, and makes you a better person. Mm. So when I saw you around, you know, seriously, I was just like, ah, <laughs> trying to put my, my feet in your shoes, you know. <laughs> Even right. though I cannot have the time to go for car practice <laughs> and to sing like you uh, as you do. But let me tell you, never feel regretted getting or having the, the, the talent to sing. One more thing is that with this, do your best to identify other talents that you have. Talents are things that are given to God without any you know, uh, work done for him. You know, it's a free thing, but you need to develop it. And sometimes they can even help you to, you know, make a living out of that. Definitely. Yes. Thank you so much, so, Nana, for so this feel, advice. Feel free, get closer to God and help one another. Help one another. Very, very important. <laughs> a queer archer memorial youth choir. Where can we find you if we want to book you? Because the way you sing, you can't just sing here and go home like that. I know there are people out there who are watching and they want to book you for an event. So where can you be found and what's the number to call you on? We are based in Tema. Um, that is Community 5. But you go everywhere? Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. But they sing nicely. They do. They do. We so have number very good is... Voice. Zero five four two zero nine five five three seven. Okay. Thanks. And we can call you on this. Are you are you on social media? Yes. Okay, yes, so please. what's your handle on social media? We are on all social media pages. That is Ikea Achere Memorial Youth Choir. And you yeah. sing beautifully. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here today and making Nana happy. Very happy. We'll take one more tune from you. But before then, uh, Nana, okay, oh, Nana, let's let them sing one favorite tune of yours and then you give us our final words before we go. Well, good. Nana, what is the other tune that you want them to sing for you? Um, I said Methodist Hymn Book 427. Methodist Hymn Book 427. Equia Ashre Memorial Youth Choir, take us away. Oh. 
Ikuya Ashre Memorial Youth Choir. Nana, yes, what do you have to say to the people out there who are watching you today? Yeah, um, I'm so impressed. Surprisingly, you brought these uh, widows to give me a present. I never expected that. Um, the melodious songs by if you are a youth, Memorial Youth Car um, has, also, has also made my day. But let me remind of all of us, the last stanza, the second, third line, make you his service, your delight. He will make your wants his care. I don't know. So, just as we learned from other mentors, mm -hmm. I go, I have, I have, um, all, in life I had about four mentors and they have all impressed me and God has used them to make me what I am today. One of them is my own father, the late father. Mm -hmm. And his name? Matthew Kofi Apiedi Asante. Mr. Asante. Mr. Asante. <laughs> Nana Ewa Dakun, because of Jabin, the late, who is no more, and the founder of the Vanguard Group of Companies. Mm. The other one is Nana Otu Osrebo II, or Mahine of Jabin, traditional area, mm -hmm. now the chairman of the Council of State. Okay. You know, and through him, that I am a chief. He gave it to me as a gift. Oh, wow. I'm telling you how he was able to identify me and through that, make, making me what I am today. And then Father Campbell, um, a Catholic priest mm -hmm. who has been in Ghana for the past 50 years. I got to know him about uh, 18 years ago, and um, in fact, his lifestyle also inspired me. Mm -hmm. Because he's been supporting and helping lepers and the vulnerable in society. And since I emulated these people, my life has never been the same. And I thank God that he has brought me this far. So many other children, so many other um, young men and women through me have gotten their tertiary education, others have gotten their um, trades and others also for um, other um, work that they are doing. And we do all this to the glory of God because some of these guys or names that I've mentioned mm -hmm. helped us in one way or the other. So I'm praying that irrespective of how, where life, you started life or life places you, you should not forget about your God. Yeah. You must mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. that in our lives, people also come in to help us. Mm -hmm. Our wives, our children, our family, you know, immediate family members, they have all they are all stakeholders in, mm -hmm. in us. Mm -hmm. Because when I was in Jabin, you know, coming up in life, people advised me one way or the other. My choir master, Mr. Osajiman, who is still alive, 
he helped me and picked me out from nowhere. He identified that I had a you know, good voice and you know, nurtured me you know, along. So seriously, my mother also pushed me. My stepmother also helped me and my other you know, siblings, they also all uh, supported one way or the other, trying to uh, bring out the, 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 you know, the good things in you. They bring them out and that gives you that kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, courage mm -hmm. to, you know, thrive the way you want to. Few friends have also helped me, uh -huh, but you have to be careful the type of friend you, you pick. Mm -hmm. It is very, very key. So here, what I'm saying once again is that God-fearing, humility, hard work, and forgiveness. And forgiveness. These are the things, if you uh, do it and, you know, uh, do it well, with the grace and the mercies of God, you will never be the same. And you, you, you go higher and higher and higher in life. And, and I thank all the other chiefs, especially um, my big chief, as already mentioned, Nano Tusri Board II, my head of Gabin traditional area, mm -hmm. and the overlord of Asadman, the two for city to the second. This really also inspired me in so many ways when he supported um, with his fund, mm. helping, supporting the needy, but the brilliant ones, uh, not only from Ashanti region, but from all other parts of, of this country. Right. And on that note, not forgetting Sarah <laughs> and, his, and her team, who have identified me in a small way that we are doing to, uh, you know, bring smiles in the faces of the vulnerable in society. Right. Nana, thank you so much for being here today. We are so grateful. And uh, thank you, especially to your wife. Uh, she, she actually held your hand and brought you here. Although but she's going to come not forgetting, today. Not forgetting the uh, Portes Village yeah. uh, orphanage. They are located at Dudua. Mm -hmm. We identified them not long ago. They're about mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. But we have been there about three times. Uh, we have close to about 200 your young ones oh, over, over wow. there. Yes. Wow. So I'm urging all those who have surpluses just to not only surpluses, anything small, just pass by and uh you know just give a word to encourage them. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, um those on the streets, you know, let's find a way to, to support them to as support well. them one way or the other. Mm -hmm. They have other talents in them, mm. and we need to help them to identify their talents. Seriously, more people have not been able to identify their talents. That's true. And lack we of, need lack to of do help. That. Seriously. Mm. So all those who are watching me, the issue is that let's see to help one more person. One more person. Mm. One more person. Yes. And I think our lives will never be the same. Whether you be a Christian... Thank you so much for being here, Nana. We are so grateful. And on that note, we have enjoyed ourselves today. And most importantly, we have gotten to know that it's more important to put smiles on the faces of people. We have been doing this with the Equia Achere Memorial Youth Choir. They have been serenading us the whole time. We've been dancing and enjoying some great tunes. Nana is great. And Nana is putting smiles on the faces of people. A big thank you to Labadi Beach Hotel for giving us this beautiful place. The place is really beautiful. Lovely, lovely place. If you're looking for a place to have your event and you are thinking twice don't think twice labadi beach hotel is right here to serve you they have the best of foods they have the best of ambience if you're looking for a place also to our widows who were here today auntie esther and auntie regina for being here thank you so much we are truly grateful uh, to every single person here my producer sarah one i love you to the camera sound um sets everybody Lucas, um, Bush, uh, everybody, everybody. Let me just say everybody because the team is great. It's been wonderful. Thank you all so much. And of course, the channel to watch, Joy Prime, the best ultimate experience. It is the channel that you have to watch. To myself, 
<laughs> and to my designer max legend words do follow him on social media don't forget to follow all our social media handles which is our joy prime tv joy prime tv all social media handles don't forget to follow it joy prime tv and follow me as well rosalind felly across the board and all social media handles enjoy your day and before you go enjoy your day enjoy this great tune from a but thank you nana thank you once again for being here My we pleasure. are truly grateful My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you.